So today we decided to make a trip uh, onto base because we had to go to the post office and really it just seemed like a good day to get out of the house and let the kids stretch their legs and get some fresh air and stuff. So right now we're outside of the hotel on base. We're having a picnic and then we'll probably go to the park. And we were just thinking this is a great opportunity to kind of update everybody. We've had so many people asking uh, how we've been doing ever since the COVID-19 outbreak happened here. And so we just wanted to take a minute and tell you what has changed for us or like what, what the impact has been. So far, the military has made it to where you have to uh, be checked at the gates when you come in. They've closed all but two gates here on, uh, on base and um, they are checking your temperature and then asking you some basic questions. So nothing super crazy. Um, and then as far as like restrictions, we're not allowed to go out um, to like social events or anything like that. So like no going out to restaurants or um, bars or clubs, which we didn't really do anyways. Um, but we are allowed to go grocery shopping. We can come on base and do whatever we want on base. Um, so there's a park for the kids, dog park, stuff like that. So there's still plenty of things to do. Um, just some really basic precautions so we're not, you know, unnecessarily uh, touching other things that we shouldn't or getting into close contact. So, but we're still having fun. So we moved uh, so the kids could play at the playground. Okay, so we just wanna talk a little bit about like our overall experience and what we've noticed ever since this all started. And I think one of the main takeaways is that there's a lot less panic here than there is back home. Yeah, they um, like on base is the only place that is like selling out of toilet paper and hand sanitizer and stuff. I mean, yeah. Um, the streets are still very populated. People are um, just, you know, they're wearing their face masks. People are using hand sanitizer and soap and stuff, which you should be doing anyways. Yeah, so. and they have like po like signs posted out showing you proper hand washing technique and things like that. It's really not enough to cause panic. Um, I, mean, I feel like most adults should know how to wash their hands anyways, but I guess it's always good to have a reminder. Um, yeah. Restaurants are still open. Yeah. We, on our, we had to walk here to base and all the restaurants were open and people are driving around doing their business. I think it's a little less crowded just because people are being cautious, but I don't think it's out of panic. And our local, both of the local grocery stores that are within walking distance from our apartment are completely stocked on everything you could possibly want. Plenty of toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soap, like just anything. All the things that we've heard are selling out back home are in abundance here. Um, and I think the Korean government is doing a really good job of proactively testing people. They have one of the highest test rates in the world, yeah. right? So they're um, they're discovering cases more. And so we get uh, like emergency alerts on our phone telling us about hot spots where an infected person has been, you know, avoid this area or whatever. But um, for the most part, life goes on. We've been staying at our apartment a lot because the military doesn't want us doing anything that's not essential. Yeah. So we are complying with that, but- um, Lots of movies. Yeah, movies <laughs> and- <laughs> Ordering food. Yes, shuttle. Oh, it's the best. It's like, it's like Uber Eats, but cheaper and you can get food from anywhere. It's yeah. really cool. We really like it. Yeah. Um, and we've been going to the grocery store only when we have to. And that's really all we've been doing, so. You know, overall, like we've just been homebodies a bit more, but life hasn't been altered drastically for us. Yeah. Don't think, especially for me and the kids. I mean, I know you have to do like your temperature checks at, at the gate and whatnot, but for me and the kids, it just seems like we're being lazy and not leaving the house a whole lot. Yeah. So. But we're still having fun, enjoying it. Yeah, it's been not a, not really a huge deal for us. And, um, and thankfully I feel like the Korean government is doing the best they can. The Korean people are really conscious of how their actions affect other people. And so here, I mean, basically everyone wears a mask to go out. Yeah, so we're washing our hands a lot, which we should be doing anyways. And 
Yeah, using the same amount of toilet paper that we always do. <laughs> so yeah, that's just what our experience has been like. I know the, the worst outbreak happened in uh, Daegu. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite as bad uh, up here in Seoul. But, um, but still. Try to walk. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's too much. Not <laughs>